that, I promise this is my last RAM video on FC24 because there is no way EA can ruin this game more than they already have. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Over the course of the new year and the January transfer market, they've been dropping little title updates here and there on a game that was already 70% off only a couple months after release. So that was a f***ing lie. Of course they just had to throw that cheeky little FIFA points bonus in there anyway and the Euros DLC is probably going to be even more minimal and bare bones just like World <laughs> Cup 2022 was but th we'll get to that later. EA you're not getting off lightly here. This right here is how the game not only has me feeling but the entire community. Not only just career mode, ultimate team but pretty much everyone. EA's disaster class has been felt by every single community. So this is a compilation of new bugs and glitches that I've found personally while I've been recording videos, some that you guys have sent, and also things that I've found on Reddit and Twitter. I've played over 200 hours of this game, I think I know what I'm talking about. First on the plate is probably one of the most common visual glitches you'll see, it's the new style cutscenes that have just been broken since FIFA 18, and in FC24 they just take the cake because look at this monstrosity, you got a guy whose body is just all contorted, distorted, his shoulders are invisible, his head's coming out of his body, like it is just some R-rated stuff right here, I don't understand how this game is like a Peggy 3 because it is a genuine horror show at times like, like what is going Bellingham back there half of his body is dropped off the face of the earth and Mbappe is doing his celebration <laughs> He's crossing his arms and he's shut like you literally have to see it to believe it. This, this is real I swear there's never ever been of an issue like this before when it was first introduced only in like the last couple of FIFA's This has been a real problem. I'll bet the house that this doesn't get fixed before FC 25 Yeah, here we have even more visual glitches that people find in games something that I talked about last video The scoreboard just being absolutely unreadable there if you're a white or a team wearing white <laughs> Manager's hair just either disappearing or completely just distorting again. EA love distorting bodies and distorting hair. Roy Hodgson's still kicking on in 2037 according to this post. Yeah, in-game he, he doesn't look quite right. This is actually a recent phenomena that I've seen pop up and we all know that EA split from FIFA. They can't have the FIFA branding in-game or in any of their titles. However, this is where their lack of attention to detail comes through because of course EA, they haven't cleared some small minor details and assets in game and first up we're gonna start with the captain's armband when you're playing in either World Cup games or international games and kickoff there is still the FIFA branding and the FIFA logo on that captain's armband Harry Kane with England the captain and it's got FIFA written right there they're caught in 4k caught red-handed and someone's called them out recently their ball still has the FIFA branding the FIFA license logo now I don't know if this is intentional I don't know if they're allowed to do it I don't know if they can get in trouble from this but it's quite funny to see that because every year we, we say there's a lack of attention to detail and now it is there in plain sight it's clear as day now here's something that i want to touch on just so many visual glitches and errors that are still in career mode haven't been addressed for months and probably won't be fixed i'm gonna say probably until the later stages of career mode maybe not even ever touched we have the curse of the free agent placeholder kit it's in all the cutscenes. it's in just random times during when you load up into a game or when you sign a player contract renewals it's in the in the restaurant in the cutscenes. It's just everywhere. You can't escape it. All right, let's take a look at our Champions League draw. Oh no, <laughs> my game is broken. This save is just corrupt. What is life right now? Am I? <laughs> How do they get away with this? They they can't keep getting away with this, but they just it just it's inevitable. Huh? Everywhere you look, you just can't escape it. Everywhere you look, I bet every single career mode player has experienced some kind of glitch like this. Whether you've played for five minutes or five hours. Need I say more? N need I say more? No words. No words can describe this dumpster fire right now. It is what it is. I feel like we're playing FIFA 19 all over again. I can't take this game seriously, bro. I, I don't know how people take this game seriously. When it's up against Pez, eFootball, whatever, free-to-play nonsense, this... this 
this is what this is the best I can come up with. Even the waitresses, even the people in the background, even they're wearing the free agents kit, carrying the food. Bro, full kit wankers, they'll never leave. The full kit wanker brigade is back in force. This game is making me want to end it all. Like, what is this frame right here? EA have done their worst, and uh, we are left with an absolute abomination. Like, what is this, man? Like, how do they get away with this? Every single update, every, every time they try and patch this game, some new issues and bugs always come creeping back in. You can guarantee that. And these transfer cutscenes have been broken from the jump. It's just unbelievable. I don't even think I'm surprised at this rate anymore. They do this every year. year. It was there at launch. They patched it out. And then a couple of new updates added it back in again. And it is just a terrible experience. We also still have the headless or the bodiless managers in the negotiation cutscenes. Vincent Company, just a floating head. It's like something out of Harry Potter. And again, you have to see it to believe it. And yeah, of course, you need to reassess your life choices, mate, because that drip is terrible. And not only Vincent Company, but other managers like MC Moyes right here. This was some of my own footage and I just had to document it because a headless David Moyes is something that I wanted to curse you guys with. I had to see it, now you have to as well. It doesn't get any better. The, the viewing is very, very eerily odd and I might have just found my Halloween costume for next year. We've also had the cameraman holding nothing. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you showing Alex Scott there, mate? Uh, the invisible box? What, what are you guys holding? What, what is he? Why is the hands going through the camera? He's trying to hit her with that camera is, but but the, he, he fails to realize that he's no, there's nothing there. I don't know what Alex Scott is looking at either. Just just bizarre scenes going on. You officer got the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, no, hold on. His camera is coming out of his... Pass. Children play this game. He needs to get it checked out. That's all I'm gonna say. Someone get him a doctor. A and that guy down there as well. He's holding something and it's coming out of the downstairs department. This guy's got it coming out of his chest. The Iron Man of cameras. And these are just some of the horror shows you could you could witness in this game. And no, it's not just at the Fiorentina Stadium. It it's everywhere. The, the cameramen are just clueless holding nothing with the camera coming out of their rear end. Whilst we're on the subject of cameramen, yeah, at uh, Fiorentina just have an obsession with wiling out on cameraman because th this guy he's a rainbow and we all know we've seen the rainbow glitch in previous FIFAs and they're back at it again not even holding the camera levitating camera coming out of his face don't let this guy in Saudi Arabia they'll kick him out it's nightmare fuel there's there's nothing more I can say and uh, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse we also had the Sheffield United manager the Chris Wilder glitch come through where his face face scan got updated or I don't know something to do with the squad update and it just turned to a grey placeholder random image on top of his head but it was also combined with his face scan it was very weird it's kind of like the David Moyes thing I didn't want to see it again but I recorded it for evidence purposes like his head got half his scalp missing he's got placeholder tattooed on his forehead EA just did him dirty but it, it was kind of cool for the moment I still don't know if this works now because they eventually fixed it it took them a damn while but one of the strangest and probably the most random glitches you'll ever see because why was it Chris Wilder why was he the chosen one who had the grey face skin we will never know but it will go down in history as one of the best career mode glitches we'll ever see like you get to see it up close and personal there and it is just a thing of beauty i even tried it in game like i wanted to see it up close on the sidelines it is still the case you can see it even better because it's on the back you can see the back of his head so it wasn't just only in the menus now the youth academy is something ea have gotten wrong so many times so many years in a row and haven't really updated it since like fifa 21 it's probably one of the most beloved features in career mode and people will just receiving glitch players like someone that is zero foot tall he's left footed he has minus five to minus six potential he's minus six overall 2024 years old but the number cuts off right there Ika Aguirre he, he's technically gifted though so I'll give him that he comes from the country known as not found I love that nation I've always always wanted to visit a very creative flag too might I add and we also had someone who found Javier Torres who is actually aged 2025 so one year older and a minus six to minus six potential I see the vision Javier Torres, sign him up to the Youth Academy because you've got a gem on your hands. I know I pointed this out in one of my first few videos of the year, but like, what, why do 15 year olds and 16 year olds have fully grown beards? Like, I, I can barely grow a beard myself. And we have teenagers out here repping fully grown beards. And also bold. The bold 15 year olds and 16 year olds are the ones that get me. Another area of the Youth Academy that needs to be fixed, just the visuals. Like, we need brand new player faces, brand new names. Of course, there's mods for that, but you basically gameplay 
players just suffer so hard with the with the youth academy especially so this glitch from the last video still continues with random managers popping up in the in the main menu first it was allegri now it's javi just balling out on the pitch with full dress shoes on the manager retire again i don't know what caused this this doesn't happen to me i've just seen it online so many times it gets funnier every time but it actually makes sense with javi because he was a former player or like a recent former player what is this game bro what is this game bro what the f is going on what am i looking at you can't make it up bro you cannot make this shit up i can i i can't even do anything my save is just broken uh my save is just completely gone. Someone sent me this glitch before. I didn't think it was real, but it is. I'm seeing a first hand right here. Bro, they better be working overtime for FC25 because this game has been nothing short of a fucking disaster. How many times do I have to make a video saying this game is broken? I'm trying to record a fucking video and this shit happens. Every, I swear, every video I made this year without fail, I've encountered a glitch of some sort. Like, fucking make me a beta tester of this shit because clearly the testers and game beta testers that you hire don't do anything. They just turn a blind and die to everything and don't even fucking do their job. Oh my god, it's happening again. I'm trying to simulate and this fucking... <laughs> what? What the hell? It's literally just the advance button that's glitched. You press advance and that pops up. What? Oh my god, it gets deeper. The plot thickens. My eyes! What is this lighting, bro? Do they know anything about lighting cutscenes properly? Don't you guys just love the lighting in this game? Like, I can definitely see what is going on here. The shadows are on point. Like, this is the most visually stunning game. The shadows are completely bearable. They don't hurt your eyes. A very viewable game we've got going on right here. Oh, and the lighting gets even better. Like, Old Trafford are playing there during the day. Good luck. The sun better not be out. Otherwise, your chance of seeing what's going on on the left side at the Stretford end is zero to none oh my god look at the crowd as well look how is this happening in 2024 what visual fidelity and quality have we got running right here i swear this was a glitch in fifa 19 all the old glitches from previous games they, they somehow work their way back into the code they sneak under the cracks you end up getting this stuff it's just you can't kill these glitches man especially the visual ones they'll, they'll never go away i mean what what is going on anymore with with this game like, like uh, can someone explain to me what <laughs> Brother, ugh. Why is it every every time I load up career mode and record a video, I experience a new glitch? I don't try and search for them. They come to me. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. It's just so annoying. I can't do anything about it. You can't. You can't do anything. You can't back out. You can't click anything. A game-ending crash. And I've been wanting to speak on this for ages, but team of the year, that whole period just completely broke the game. It was like they flicked the switch and the game just couldn't handle team of the year being released and it just capitulated in on itself. I was on holiday, but I was seeing some of the randomest gameplay glitches. Like, like what is going on in this video? It is just... <laughs> Joao Pedro and Modric doing T-poses in the middle of the field, having spasms, like jerking out, and it is just wild. There is no words for these videos and they only get crazier. Players just wiling out, the game going at zero miles an hour and just all these visual glitches happening on the pitch. Again, you have to see it to believe it. It's like the tired news tile cutscenes came to life. I will preface that this only appeared in Ultimate Team, but there is no way in hell that this stuff can't creep into the offline modes and career mode. Like, watch out, it will. One day, it'll pop up again. When EA release another update, something will trigger it. The game code is gonna malfunction and we'll have this kind of stuff popping up in career mode like it's only a matter of time team of the year just just broke everything the main menu ultimate team the gameplay and again with these horror cost like this is scarier than a horror movie it actually reminds me of fifa 12 if any if anyone remembers the fifa 12 gibberal cc qpr practice arena glitch that's what it's given me the vibes of only the real ones will remember if they can't get this right what, what makes you think they're gonna fix career mode what makes you think they're gonna get career mode right in fc 25 or beyond it's like you logged into the game and, and every day there was a new glitch that you encountered. Someone again, yeah, is this a Halloween promo? Sam Kerr back at it again. What the fuck is this shit? Look at Sam Kerr! My kids play this! That's what I mean! I'm not even- Look! <laughs> I'm just going on to the game, right? It creeps what you out, though. I know these are some old glitches, but we, we've got to recap the months that were. You can't let them get away with this stuff. Like, penalty goals just spazzing out. The, the ball going at zero kilometers an hour. It is unexcusable. Like... 
I know this only happened for maybe a couple of days, but this is what happens when there was only like Pez as competition and that game just obviously turned into a mobile game hellhole. This is what happens when you're too complacent, you've got no competition, no one innovating. It is just the game gets released in this state. Again, it was Ultimate Team only, but this exists in the game. This, this could creep its way into everything else. Don't think it's all fixed for now. Who knows when this could get reactivated again? Can you even explain this? Like, imagine explaining this to someone 10 years ago in like FIFA 14, FIFA. 15. We're 10 years into the future and we've got even worse glitches than you had back then. You thought the impact engine was bad in FIFA 12. Well, this is the goal impact engine. Two players taking a penalty at once. Like, it's a clown show. It is a full-on clown show at the moment. And to make matters even worse, what's recently been discovered is that there is still some of the old FIFA 23 or the old school in-game menu deep within the game. We've got an ultimate team squad battles game going on. Someone's player gets injured and then, yeah, the old FIFA 23. 23 menu pops up it is still down there buried in the code and it begs the question how much has changed between fifa 23 and fc 24 clearly not much and even the things that have changed can sometimes revert back to the old i covered this in the last video too like the ultimate team pop-ups and promo that happens while she connected to the servers playing any other game mode it just flashes you and you can't do anything for like 30 seconds you have to watch and force feed the ad down your throat and i know i kind of like disregard player career mode but it's sad to see that one of the only features they added into the mode this year was your player agents and, and them leading you to other clubs getting your contracts and this guy on reddit goes he's at 93 rated striker top goal scorer in the premier league and earning over 100 grand a week so naturally my agent is recommending a move to punjab fc one of the worst teams in the world in the game half a star what is the point of the player manager if they're just gonna like it's just another new feature that doesn't work as intended and will never get fixed out of everyone it's the player career mode fans that i feel for the most because they have been in the trenches they've been eating shit for years and if you still don't believe me about how everyone's kind of complaining this year it's probably the most i've ever seen people just calling out ea actually speaking up against the game and their decisions in ultimate team career mode everyone has already had enough the game has already died and we're not even in march and I'm sure over the new year in January, you guys would have loved the, the football feast that was going on. We had both AFCON and Asian Cup at the exact same time. Clubs had players missing on international duty. The January transfer market kept football fans entertained every day. Clubs were missing players out on international duty. It was a challenge for a lot of club teams to compete. These two competitions just aren't in the game. They're, they're just not in tournament mode, not in career mode. AFCON's actually just never been in FIFA in general. Like, I don't know who that license belongs to. To. The Asian Cup is actually in eFootball, but we all know what their current game is like and what they're doing with the, with the Asian Cup. It's actually not even in career mode or anything. Like It's only ever the Euros and the International Men's Cup. Forget about Copa America. That has been removed completely. The Copa America just doesn't exist in career. So three of the biggest international tournaments in the world just don't happen in, in FC24. Not even in its unlicensed state is it in the game. And uh, with the Euro DLC, like I've predicted many times on this channel, it is going to be pretty much copy and paste of what the World Cup 2022 DLC was and, and that was just a major disappointment. This is probably going to be another disappointment. There's already mods out for this Euro 2024 tournament mode kind of thing. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys want me to do a video on that. Playing the Euro 2024 mode early. Otherwise, it's going to be the same old, same old and I'll be very surprised if they implement anything new or actually have a fully fleshed out mode like 2014. This is the first time they've got the Euro license back. So are they going to do anything innovative with it? Probably not. It's just all going to funnel into Ultimate Team promos. And this is what I mean when I say some of these glitches won't be fixed until probably the end of the year or until FC25. Because guess how long it took them to fix one little simple visual glitch? The player bio bug that when you clicked on a player, when you viewed the opposition team, a Bournemouth badge came up for, for every single player. A silly little thing that I noticed in my first playthrough of the game on launch day, by the way. So to back in October, back in September. And it took them until title update 8. Yes, 8 title updates until it was finally addressed where the player bio screen could have displayed an incorrect badge. You cannot tell me that took them five, six months to fix. How is this not addressed in the first one to two months max? Like, I'm just used to it by now. I'm just out here sending the warning message. I'm out here being the messenger. And in title update nine, they've gone on to fix some things in player career. But most importantly, your youth players could have the chip shop play styles without meeting its requirements. What about goalkeepers having like six outfield player traits when they're never going to use them? Like goalkeepers having the finesse shot trait. They only fix like 
part of the problem. And there's only like one minuscule part of the entire issue. It's like, yeah, they had the chip shop playstyles, but also I've seen goalkeepers with like three, four playstyles that don't even suit a goalkeeper. How many problems have been fixed in nine title updates? That's a good question. I, I actually don't know that many. Like maybe random visual glitches, like the wild the face one. Other than that, like the majority of the time been either ultimates team stuff or gameplay. Like the gameplay has been so bad and inconsistent and something's been broken every single time, every single update, that they've never really touched career mode that much besides like random little tweaks here and there. They've had to spend so much time like improving the gameplay because it's been so poor. It's like we were the beta testers and, and they never even tested the game out before release. But who could forget title update 7 where there was no career mode changes or fixes whatsoever. Given they did add some star heads and some new face scans, but in terms of career mode fixes, it was not even listed. It was like, nah, career mode's perfect right now. There is no need to fix anything. I'm so glad I waited to drop this video because over the course of the next couple of weeks, there have been even more EA failures, incompetency, updates that don't even barely mention career mode, some questionable squad updates, and some new glitches we gotta dive into. Let's just start off with the FC24 Spring Update, Title Update 11, with new animations captured from this season's Champions League, playstyles, gameplay refresh, and 80 updated face scans. So I'm expecting something big. There's there's no mention of Kenilworth Road, which is a red flag. We're about eight months into the game cycle and the Luton Stadium still hasn't been added to the game. When you go scroll down to the tabs here, we've got gameplay and then ultimate team and more. Brother, ugh, what's that? You can't write it. The only time career mode is mentioned is for the CPU AI changes where they've adjusted legendary difficulty AI behavior and the CPU more likely to perform shot types based on their respective play styles. Plays with lower composure, more likely to make mistakes when pressed. Career mode was mentioned. Let, let, let's just read the fine print here. We look forward to seeing player feedback on legendary CPU AI changes across career mode. Oh, we get a mention. We get a look in. I feel blessed. I feel honored to be mentioned once throughout this whole entire article. I don't know why it took this long to, to add new shooting animations, new skill moves. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nah. That's a game changer, boys. That That's a game changer. You've got step overs. Reinventing the wheel here, guys. Oh, okay. This I do like. Low key, I'm not going to make a joke of this, but it's the Nicholas Sula goal line clearance last inch effort, which as a defender myself, I can appreciate. So that, that is quite cool. The other two, yeah, they, they barely even do anything. They're just filler. We've got a couple new head scans, face scans, which should have been added into the game months ago, but like new summer, summer signings, like Hoyland, Mitoma, who was actually their last season. Season. Doku who was there last season as well. Van de Ven. Look at this bloody Muppet. Really appreciate the adjustment to CPU. Hey, what about the, all the 5,000 other things wrong with career mode, brother? If you gave me a list of things to fix about the game, or career mode in general, fixing legendary AI would be about number 999 on the list. Like, they've just got their priorities all mixed up. Yet again, EA have gone without even barely touching career mode, barely fixing any of the glitches and bugs mentioned in this thread. The new styles will just forever be bugged and glitched and never work as intended. I'll put my hands up and say I'll give EA one thing. They did fix the Premier League scoreboard. So instead of just seeing Spurs, they've actually added a bit of a drop shadow there. I, I see the vision. I, I know it's taken about three months since the newly added scoreboard, but they eventually got around to it, guys. I know it must have been a strenuous task. They, they got the fix and... Good on you guys. And just to rub a little bit of salt into the wounds, we have the updated Premier League graphic overlays. Of course, the pre-match lineups that roll out before the game, but it's only available, here's the catch, on old gen. PS4, Xbox One, they're having a field day with this. Actual lineups, like how the team line up on match day, if you're actually watching it on TV. This is, for some reason, removed from next gen. It's been an issue ever since launch, and uh, EA have heard our feedback, heard that we want it back into the game, but still have done nothing about it. So I'm just showing you guys, because. I don't have old gen. I stopped playing old gen years ago. But this is what it would look like. You get the full TV broadcast package presentation. It actually looks kind of sick, to be honest. Like, I miss this. Like, watching the teams get announced, watching them all line up in front of the camera. And you can get a nice visual on not only your team, but the opposition. It just makes you feel like you're watching a game on TV. So the old gen boys are laughing right now. And we're just stuck with the 20 second cutscenes before the game. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Over the course of the last week or so, we had a couple of squad updates, which were 
were much needed. Unfortunately, for a day or two, EA kind of fumbled the bag and messed up here. Slipped these two players in. We had two fake players added into the career mode player database. We've got fake player one who's playing for Shenzhen Football Club, which is actually uh, Coleman, the ex-Everton player. Seamus, for some reason, is one of these fake players. And then the other guy is a 29-year-old goalkeeper with no face, no, no 2D photo. I don't know how this slips through the cracks, but someone pressed the wrong button and, and we had this for a while. But not only were the fake players added in, we had, get this, a 15-year-old wonder kid added into the game when, what, a 16-year-old Lamina Mal still isn't added into FIFA. We had the Wolverhampton Wanderers wonder kid, Wesley Okadua. 15. Mate, if you start an MLS saver, I, he'd be 14. Once you start a new save, like, what? This was an accident. This was a mistake because they ended up removing him like a day later. Now, just to go over him, he's a right back, 15, English, 5 foot 9, 2 star skills, 3 star weak foot. He was barely in the game for 24 hours, but it, it was his 24 hours of fame. I don't think they quite got his face scan right. Nah, the resemblance is uncanny, actually. Looking like a pasty white man from down the pub. And not only that, he was actually a, a good viable option in the game. Starts off at 59 overall with 87 potential. Already an exciting prospect. At 15, he could have been your right back for the entire save. Like, you, you'd go to the end of the career mode and it'd be 30. Um, I'm keen to see him added back in. Those were his attributes, if you were wondering. Probably should be added into next year's game, slipping through the cracks. This guy was born in 2008. Oh my god, I actually remember 2008. I feel old, brother. And it wouldn't be more FC24 title updates if we didn't get more new visual glitches in our game mode. And we've got a transfer signing announcement happening in a game. Transferred from Leverkusen, Ibrahim Akanate moving to Spurs. Kind of like the Wesley situation. He's got an impersonator roaming around. The bold man from Newcastle. I actually didn't even clock that. He's got a new castle kit on too. There's always something lurking in this game. And apparently there's a new play styles glitch. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried this out, but apparently you can basically max out whatever play you want with every single play style in the game. It's a little bit of a grind because you actually have to complete the pre-match training in the game. Like you can't just simulate it. So it takes, it requires a little bit of skill. All you have to do is release a play you don't need. And uh, yeah, you can get unlimited play styles. You guys should take advantage of it before they patch it out. Any, any advantages, any glitches that help us, that the EA will make sure they get rid of it straight away. So you probably have a limited time to try this, but it's there. Now there has been a glimmer of hope this week as some rumors have emerged that 2K might be acquiring the FIFA license next. Gianni Infantino is looking for a new company to make a FIFA games. We might have some competition for EA, some proper competition. Mike Straw here on Twitter announcing that he's hearing rumors. FIFA and 2K are working to announce a partnership for 2K to make an official licensed FIFA game. That's exactly the words that I wanted to hear. Yeah, that just had everyone dreaming, everyone thinking that a brand Brand new title, well finally FIFA will be returning, but just with different developers, different producers, and we finally get to have a new take on the FIFA game mode, as it's the creators of the famous NBA 2K series, and you know, they're, they're not perfect either, I mean EA and 2K, they're as bad as each other, but this time, we have a brand new company making it, brand new ideas, brand new innovation, hopefully, and a FIFA 2K series, I don't know, that, that kind of sounds hard to me, I'm willing to give it a go, after all these years of letting EA fumble the bag, I am more than happy to give it to an another company and see what they can cook up. What, what can possibly go wrong? Look, I've heard some bad things. I've heard some good things about 2K. There just needs to be not just an online experience. There also needs to be an offline career experience too. So hopefully it's just not online only. That's my only fear. And then, you know, their track record with servers aren't that great. These are the kind of ideas that you can cook up. So, you know, sponsorships, shoe deals, hopefully they can work with a lot more brands to incorporate into the game modes and just have a lot more my career and my pro options. We could see stuff like the NBA Park makers way or have its own take with the soccer genre this is exactly what it feels like we're, we're about to be saved by the 2k gods we are finally let off the shackles of ea and uh hopefully 2k can show us what they got we're maintaining the faith and like this is like from three years ago a feature suggestion a community creations which is in the nba 2k series but it's just where people from the community can update like or just upload rosters teams kits badges like just everything under the sun everyone can access them as long as you're connected to the servers so i think it's pretty 
pretty cool that, you know, things like this could be on the horizon and could make their way into a brand new FIFA game. Another thing that 2K get criticized on a lot is their, you know, similar to EA, they, they love a few microtransactions. They love making the game pay to win, pay to play. Look, I just hope that is not the case. I hope there is just another mode that is not online. This could be the play right here. FIFA 2K26 for the 2026 World Cup in America, Canada, Mexico. Anything could happen. According to Chewboy, it's possible. Like, who, who else big enough w would be able to take on the FIFA license in all its glory? But the only bad thing is that they're not going to have any, like, of the club licenses or, like, you know, the Premier League, Serie A, all that kind of stuff. It's either going to be all the fake teams or they're just going to focus purely on, like, the My Player experience or really flesh out a park, open world kind of mode of My Player experience. It's got me hyped. I'm looking forward to the future and just EA having to step their game up because more competition is on the horizon. I don't think this will see the return of the fully fledged standalone World Cup games though. It's probably just going to be embedded into the FIFA 2K26 experience, just like another little side piece of content. I am just going to remain slightly optimistic for now. And the final little piece, little note that I wanted to end on it was this tweet I saw right here. I was just scrolling, having a nice little morning to myself. And this came across my timeline. It's from Career Mode Insider. And he said, although we are constantly in denial, the future of offline football gaming is at a crossroads. Soon, Career Mode and Master League may be completely removed altogether from EA Sports FC and eFootball. I'm sorry to tell you, brother. But one's already dead. I posted this on my community tab just to get, get a gauge and see what you guys were saying about the whole situation. If 2K and FIFA do make that game, I'm switching there as long as there is career mode. Oh, for facts, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, they're not going to remove career mode because there's still loads of people who play career mode. Look, I wouldn't put it past them. I've got Jack weighing in saying the issue with EA isn't really the resources or effort they put into career mode. It's that they don't listen to the community and waste time putting in crap like the transfer analyst and a player personality instead of an in-game editor, starting a save mid-season from real life standings or just more customization. And I 100% agree. I don't know guys, that's just my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation let me know down in the comments below or am i just rambling too much am i complaining am i just looking for for nitpicks and should i just be more appreciative of career mode and all the work that ea do whatever your thoughts are let me know down below let's discuss that has been the current state of fc24 career mode and beyond a wrap up of the last couple of months and let me know you guys still playing it are you kind of just given up with it and not really entertained by it and anymore move to other games let me know down in the comments comments below. Do you want to see more new bugs and glitches when they come out over the course of the next few months? Because, you know, I promise this was my last ramp video, but if EA make any more big mistakes, I'm going to have to you know, document them for, for evidence sake. Just because I'm infuriated with the base game of FC, I am going to just focus on, you know, new mods coming to the scene, the realism mod, showcasing that to you all, and just the power of the PC experience. As always, I've been your boy Sir BCHD. Make sure to drop the video a like on your way out. If you made it this far, subscribe, turn on the notifications for the channel so you never miss out and as always i'll catch you all in the very next video bye bye